Okay guys, so ever since I moved in into this new studio, a ton of you guys have been requesting for a room tour. Also, when I did a desk tour, some of you guys told me that you wanted more and you wanted me to do a room tour. So that is what we are going to do today is I'm going to give you guys a room tour of my architectural studio slash YouTube studio slash bedroom. Let's go, my dudes. Okay dude, so just like my other room tour, we are going to tackle this room tour systematically. So we are going to begin from my entrance door, which is this. And go all the way around like so. Until we reach the door again. Okay guys, so upon entering my room from our main door, we will immediately be greeted by this drawer cabinet set thingy mobile. Okay, so these are actually two bedside drawers that I put on top of one another so that they look like a taller drawer set, so... Yeah. Way too heavy. Okay, so this topmost drawer is where I keep the things that I use most of the time, like batteries for my cameras, voice recorder, and then batteries for some light and some tripod mounts and an unboxing knife. Ow, dinkleberries, I actually hurt myself. There are many factors that could be causing you to have pain in your hands. Ooh, good thing my skin is pretty thick. Pro tip, don't open a knife with one hand. Knives require two hands, my dude, so let's just put that back in there let's move on to the second drawer the second drawer is what i call my drawer of shame so the reason why i call it the drawer of shame is because there's no rhyme or reason as to why these things are here there's a bunch of cables and then some of my camera chargers right there and then there's a random phone basically just camera doohickeys that i often use the drawer of shame okay so this next drawer is what i call the continuation of the drawer of shame again super disorganized and let us move on to the bottom drawer section okay so this drawer section is where i keep some of the mice that i use along with some of my mechanical pencils and some of the youtube pens that my cousins gave me so if you're watching this abel and abert thanks for the youtube merch let's move on to the next drawer so this next drawer is where i keep some other random stuff like another mouse Okay, I got a problem and I can't stop buying mice. God dang it, Leon! A webcam, then some lens cleaning tissues, a paper hang, and some of my hard drives. Okay, let's move on to the last part of the drawer where I keep some of my notebooks, headphones, and my video monitor, and a GoPro. There you go, guys. That is all the contents of this drawer right here. Let us move on to my next storage space. Right here. I'm pointing at the wrong thing. Right, right here. So this storage space right here makes use of the unutilized space underneath the stairs for space saving measures. Also, if you guys want to feel like Harry Potter, you guys could crawl in here, close the door like that, and basically just take a nap. Although it's a little bit claustrophobic. Could you imagine if that door never opened and I just got trapped in a different dimension where people live inside stair cupboards? What? Day 3572 of living underneath the stairs, and I finally completed my dust collection. Right here! <laughs> no! My dust collection! Alright, please let us move on to my main balcony up there. So, let's go! Alright guys, so here we are on top of the stairs and here we could see my hat collection. Okay, so the reason why I placed my hat collection in this area is because it receives a ton of sunlight and that is to avoid mushrooms growing on my hats. Here we have my boxing gloves and then my weightlifting braces for my wrists. Another bag. Here we have some of my boxing mitts and then some more boxing gloves and my bag. If we go outside, we could see a view of the mountainside. Okay guys, so that is my view. And that is the whole balcony area of this room. Let us move on to this whole area right here. So just as we go down the stairs, we will be greeted by this whole YouTube shelf right here. So for those of you who do not know, basically a YouTube shelf is a culmination of all the things that represent you as a YouTuber, like cameras, hard drives, pens, because I do architecture videos. Y you guys get the point. Also, if you guys are wondering if I could play the guitar, yes, I do know how to play the guitar. I spent a good chunk of my life trying to practice musical instruments because I wanted to be a, a rock star that, that didn't work out properly, so. Boy, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that picture. Okay, let's move on. Beside my YouTube shelf, we have this window right here, which I believe I do not have to give you guys a tour of. Let us just proceed to my desk setup right here. I'll just give you guys a quick tour of my desk since I did a separate dedicated video for this whole desk setup. So right here, we have a television which is hooked up to my PC right there. And then we have two monitors side by side because I use this first monitor for AutoCAD and usually for the second monitor, I have SketchUp open. So this is my usual architectural setup and I have this whole TV right here turned off or running some show on Netflix while I'm doing my architectural stuff. Okay, so underneath my monitors here, we have my whole peripheral setup. So right here, we have a wireless Corsair keyboard paired with a wireless Logitech G602 mouse. And then on top of that, I have my Galaxy Buds, which is again wireless because I want to keep my whole desk clean without wires. So that's why I bought all of this wireless stuff. So if you guys are wondering how I am lighting this whole setup, I have a Xiaomi smart bulb right there. And then behind this TV, we have a blue LED strip. So if you guys want to put accent lights on your room, always pick complementary colors. So orange and blue is an example of complementary colors. And there you go. Okay guys, so beside my desk setup, we have another desk setup for manual drafting and drawing. This is a table that I've designed specifically so that I can do architectural drawings on it. To be honest, I, it kind of looks like a big cigarette right there. I don't know what I was thinking with this color combination. But you know, mistakes were made. Let's move on. I could move this thing out, leaving me a ton of room for activities. Look at all this more space. So much with aerobics in here. So many activities. Beside this activity area right here, we have my whole utility area where I keep my lights. And then we have mini ref right there, which has nothing in it because I consumed all of it. I think beyond this light is a door to my toilet and bathroom. Probably have to clean it before I show you guys. Until then, that room will remain a mystery. So moving on from that mysterious area right there, we have a bunch of mirror doors, which are actually the doors for my cabinet preview. So there you go, this is mainly my cabinet. So the top part of this cabinet is mainly dedicated to my beddings and sleeping equipments. Is that what you call pillows? Sleeping equipments. Anyways, underneath that we have all my clothes and then a ton of shorts and you know, athletic leggings. There's, there's just no way to say leggings in a manly way like basketball leggings or basketball compression pants. Yes, that is kind of manly. Let us move on to this next cabinet right here. All right guys, so this cabinet right here is another random cabinet where I keep most of my architecture stuff. Here we have my YouTube play button which actually just arrived and I haven't had the opportunity to unbox yet. We'll probably unbox that in a random video. Anyways, thank you guys for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. I probably haven't thanked you guys yet, but from the bottom of my heart, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity that you guys have given me. So thank you so much for this. Let us move on to the thing beside that, which is this DJI Ronin, which I haven't had the pleasure of using yet because to be honest, I'm not that good at it yet. Someone's calling. Wait. 20 minutes later. All right, guys. So beside my DJI Ronin, I have a ton of bracelets and underneath that, we have ton of tripods and some video lights. And then here we have some more video stuff. So we have a ton of lights and then some rubber gloves and a cutting mat. And then here is where I keep most of my camera gear and then some more camera gear right there and more camera gear. And we're done with that cabinet. Let us move on to that next one right there. So beside this mirrored cabinet doors right here, we have this transparent glass cabinet door which houses our foam. So if you guys have noticed, this whole room doesn't have a bed in it. That's because I sleep in this foams right here. I like to keep this area open. That is why I opted for the somewhat Japanese style sleeping arrangement in which I have foams hidden in my closet. So there you go. And there we have my yoga mat. I just I just have it, you know, just in case of a yoga emergency. <laughs> yeah, that is that whole drawer right there. Let's just 
There you go. Let's move on to this next shelf area right here. Down at the bottom, we have another dry box for the cameras that I use often. Random plants, tech deck, tiny car, Bluetooth speaker, this weird bubble level thing, tiny camera, Canonet, a picture of my girlfriend, R2-D2, and a TIE fighter. Some gifts that were given to me by Crystal, Goofy and a gorilla, paper rolls. And that is my whole room, guys. I guess the only thing left to tour you guys is this part of the room which are basically just switches and we're back to where we started also i forgot to show this to you guys i have a like a tiny basketball ring right here so here we go a mess so i hope you guys enjoyed this whole room tour that i did right here also if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me your boy lian who is it so warm right now because of all the lights turned on. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.